Hello friends, welcome again. So this is the session two in the Git series that we are learning, right? Git is quite important. We should know uh, about Git and GitHub because these are very, very essential when we start working on projects. Okay. So in the previous session or the session one, we learned what is Git. We learned what is GitHub and we got an idea about a basic project structure, right? Uh, so these were the things that we have learned at a high level. In this session, let's continue our discussion. And <clears throat> the very first thing that I will tell you is how to install Git, right? How to install Git. So Git is something which you will install locally. Git will be installed locally on your laptop. Okay. And as you know, GitHub is a website where we will create an account. So first thing that I will tell you here is how to install Git locally. And second thing I will talk about is how to create. So I will say how to install Git on your laptop, right? And how to create GitHub account uh, online. Of course, this will be online. So this is like remote and this is local. Both the things we will see. Now, just to let you know, I am using a MacBook, right? So for Windows users, I will try to create a document and upload, but the steps should be more or less the same way. But still, I will try to create a document uh, with step-by-step -step instructions and I will upload for Windows users. Okay. So very first thing that you have to do is there is a website called as gitscm.com. Gitscm.com. So go to a terminal, uh, uh, go to the browser and open this website. Gitscm.com. Right? And here, since I am using Mac, it shows me download for Mac, right? You would uh, get an option for, for downloading for Windows. You do not have to go with GUI clients, right? You do not have to go with that, right? So you will find an option for download for Windows. I am seeing it for Mac. And for Mac, the instructions are very straightforward. So it has multiple ways. But I will tell you, if you have Homebrew installed on your laptop, right, then uh, it would work easily. How do I check whether Brew is installed on my MacBook or not? So this is related to Mac. For Windows, it would be downloading and clicking next, 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 and things will happen, right? So let me go to my terminal. Let me clear the screen and I will just say brew. For me, it is installed, right? So this is just one of the ways. So if you do not find anything when you type in brew, if it says command not found on your Mac terminal, right? So I am talking about terminal in Mac. In MacBook, there is a terminal. How to open terminal, right? That's how you open it. Okay. So if you do not have brew installed, click on this install home brew. And there is just one this command. You take this command and put it here. And you put it like this. Right? It will happen. In my case, since it's already there, let me not run that. But just giving you an idea. So home brew will be installed with this. Uh, uh, once you put this command and then you can, uh, once brew is installed, you can say brew install git. That's it. Nothing else. And it will take some time to install it. Right? For Windows users, you will download and then it will be a exe and then you will say next, next, next and things will happen. But anyways, I understand setup can be a pain and would differ on Mac and Windows. So I will try to put a document which is detailed for you to give you the steps along with screenshots. 
right so you can check on the portal for the document where you will find the step by step instructions if you are getting stuck but ideally it should be very straightforward okay so that's about it now since i have already installed git i will not run this command all right so this command actually takes some time to run uh, how would you verify whether git is installed successfully or not you will say git hyphen hyphen version and you can see my git version is 2.42.1 so git is installed and this is the version i have right i hope this is clear okay one thing more like i have a terminal and all these commands i will be writing on terminal right because i am not looking at a gui mode for this same way for windows you might be thinking where to write this command i'll just write it here on windows on windows instead of terminal you can get you can get git bash right so when when windows users are installing git right when windows users if you are on windows and you are installing git you will see check boxes that what all you want as part of this kit so one of the option there would be git bash right git bash would provide you that terminal when you double click on it and open that git bash you can write the commands like ls it will show this so there you can perform linux kind of commands unix kind of commands basically right and you will be writing all of these commands in your git bash terminal so this will also be like a terminal in your windows where you can write all of these commands just like i am writing on my mac so when installing git make sure you select the option of git bash so that you get this git bash installed on your windows and you can double click on it and start writing these commands the way i am writing on my macbook i hope this is clear but anyways i will try to provide these instructions to you uh, right uh, uh, through the document that i will provide so we are good and i am assuming that you will be able to install git without any issues okay now uh, i showed you git hyphen hyphen version or even if you say git it will give all of these commands right that means git is installed and it's working so that's one thing that you should be knowing now many a times right many a times or most of the times when you are developing something locally let's say when you are developing pyspark code or any code locally you would not do it on like by right clicking creating a folder or using your terminal no you would be most likely using i'll just close this yeah you would be most likely using an ide which where you might be using visual studio right or you might be using pycharm or you would be using eclipse for java or scalar related things right so any ide is best preferred to develop the code and all of it right so how do you download let's say visual studio which is one of the most famous ide these days so you can say vs code download vs stands for visual studio vs code right download you take this put it on this and it will give you instructions to download a straight forward i click on first link and i get an option to download for mac right i get an option to download for windows for windows you would be downloading 64 bit of course right so that's how you can download it extract it and of course the instructions would be very simple on how to get it installed next 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 and done right again i will provide a document where i would be showing about this because i already have it installed without any issues so i cannot show you the installation steps as of now so i will give you a document with the steps but ideally it should be very very intuitive and straightforward 
right so that's how you would download and since i have it i can open visual so i will just say visual studio code and here i uh, open this this will be open right and i see this screen as and when i uh, open visual studio code so whatever project i have done right or i created on my this thing so i can even import that i will say open i created on my desktop right so i can just bring it so uh, i will click on desktop and here i have this landing club project 01 this is the one right so i can open this and you can see i can see the project here and this will be very easy to work on here i can work i will get lot of advice from the ide as it is intelligent and so on right lib folder will have transformations utils and conv will have configurations right color and all would be appropriate so that I understand which are keywords and all of it right so ide will have its own intelligence and it becomes very easy for me to work on it right so this was the project which i created and i have loaded it here i could create a new file using this i can create a new folder using this button and so on as simple as that so most likely you would be working with a ide like uh, your PyCharm or your Visual Studio, right? I am showing Visual Studio because uh, it is very widely used these days. Okay. Now, the same terminal. So, you would need your code and you would need a terminal to work with Git so that you can check in your code and all of that. How do you get the terminal here? Right? You can click here and here I will get the terminal. Right? I will get the terminal here. I will clear the screen. And I will say present working directory is this. I can say ls. Everything would be, it's as if I am using this terminal. It's equivalent to this. So I have both the things. A proper structured code and a terminal to work with. So this is a perfect setup for me right okay so uh, idly whatever commands i perform from here i can perform from here too and this will be super super handy so what we have learned in this session till now we where is my notepad uh, okay huh. so what we have learned we learned how to install git on your laptop right git is installed of course locally so I showed you on how to do it on Mac. So we, if we have brew installed, you have just a single command to install brew also. If brew is not installed, homebrew. And then after that, one single command to install git. But it will take some time to run. Okay. There are other options too to install on Mac. For Windows, it would be a exe file that you download and then you run double click and next, next, next. Make sure you install git bash which acts as your terminal so that you whatever commands i am writing on terminal here i can write there okay i will provide the document anyways for you to refer in case if you face issues now for working with your code it's best to do it with ide like visual studio pycharm eclipse and visual studio is very very trending these days so i have shown you how you can download uh, your Visual Studio and the installation steps will be easy. I'll provide in the document again, right? So that's how this would be. Now, uh, next step would be how to create a GitHub account. How to create a GitHub account. Because local thing is set. I have seen Git hyphen hyphen version git is installed so that i can perform locally now i should have a remote account also where i can host my repositories right so what i will do is uh, we have a website github.com i will take this 
and open this you if you already have a github account you can sign in if you do not have click on sign up right you would see screen something like this it might change over time uh, and here provide a email id from which you have not already created a github account my email id is sumit mittal1306 at gmail.com and it gives me a continue button i say continue i can give a password okay some password i have given continue enter a username i can say a uh, big data by sumit this is already one of my username uh, i will say big data by sumit trendy tech this is the name i will give okay and continue would you like to receive product updates and announcements uh, i can say okay yes it's okay right please solve this puzzle so we know you are a real person okay let's see what puzzle it is it's interesting right <laughs> submit done so they have verified i am a real person create account and they would send me a code on my email id let me quickly check the code Turn. I have put in the code. Uh, are you a student or a teacher? I will say teacher. It's fine. How many team members will be working with you? I will say just me. Just an idea they want to take. And a uh, lot of things. What specific features are you interested in? Take whatever you like. I'm taking everything. Let's say security anyways it might be in some paid plans or something so yeah so continue for free initializing your dashboard and that's how you will be able to create a account right so with this you have created a github account where you can now host your repositories from your local to remote right which we will be seeing when we are doing the demonstrations of git and github right so by this time i feel so you you can click here and uh, your profile so that you can see you do not have any repositories as of now overview as i create one account it again is like a commit one contribution it shows like that right anyways it's not a contribution but we joined github it's an activity that's where it shows this green right uh, so we it's an empty account right now so all set we have locally git installed we have a github account also idly i will not be most probably using this one i will check which account i want to use i have three accounts right so we will see but i have git locally github deposit uh, github uh, uh, which is my remote and uh, i have a visual studio also if i want to use so i am all set for the demonstrations of git and github so in the next session we will start learning about git and github and how you can uh, execute this so with this we are done and i will end this session hope you liked it thanks a lot